Number five, those who claimed in their statements that they were in favor of the quick implementation of the plan are the same ones who are still providing Israel with the nuclear submarines capable of launching nuclear warheads are the same who are protecting the Israeli campaign of settlement in the occupied Arab occupied territories, including the Golan, the Syrian Golan, Jerusalem. The same powers who claim being defensor of the Syrian people's freedom are helping Israel to run away from its obligations for peace, for achieving genuine just peace based on the United Nations resolutions 242338 and 497 plus the provisions of the Arab Peace Initiative. So here we have a kind of, we are dealing with a kind of hypocrisy and as far as my government is concerned, and although the resolution does not satisfy us fully, we inform Mr. Anan that we will be on board, provided that the other parties would respect also the provisions of the six points plan. <clears throat> and actually we are right now calling on Mr. Kofi Annan to return General Maud back to Damascus to finalize the negotiations on the protocol that will regulate the mission of the, the, mission of the early advanced team of the observers. I'm in your hands. التقييم النهائي سيترك للعاصمة دمشق وهي التي ستدلي بتقييم النهائي حول هذا الموضوع لكن ما هي ما هو تقييمك أنا قلت في بياني أمام مجلس الأمن أن حكومتي بالرغم من أنه لديها ملاحظات حول القرار ولكنها ستتعامل مع كوفي عنان لتطبيقه ونتوقع من الأطراف الأخرى بما في ذلك الحكومات التي تمول وتدرب وتسلح وتحمي وتهيج المجموعات المسلحة أن تفعل الشيء نفسه. About General Mood, I'm sure you heard what what Ambassador Cherkin said. He seemed to think that a Rus he said that a Russian diplomat had gone to Kofi Annan's office in Geneva and been told that Mr. Mood's or General Mood's return should not be anticipated. What what's behind this? What it seems like he left in a hurry. Uh, and it ended up with Ambassador Cherkin saying, you know, there are other people that could go. But I, I'd like to know your, the Syrian government's view of, what, of, of why he left and, and, and what this uh, seemingly strange uh, standoff is about. I, I trust what Ambassador Cherkin said. I, I, I wasn't there. Uh, however, I, I trust what Ambassador Cherkin said. And I think that as far as we are concerned, my government called on Mr. Kofi Annan to, uh, to bring back General Mood to Damascus with his technical technical team to continue the negotiations with the, the, their Syrian counterparts in order to finalize the negotiations on the uh, provisions of the protocol. Uh, what happened is that the team was in Damascus actually, then our minister had to leave to, for Moscow on an official visit and uh, uh, in between uh, General Mood left the, the capital with his uh, team. The, our minister came back this, the day after from Moscow to see that the team is not in Damascus. So we were not able, able to continue our negotiations with the, with the team. And this is exactly, this explains what Ambassador Churkin uh, uh, was saying. So the Syrian government is waiting for, to see General Mood and the, tec the technical team to be back in Damascus to re-engage in the negotiations in order to finalize the provisions of the protocol. Yes. Two men who were arrested for murdering uh, one of your religious the son, leaders. The son of the Mufti, yes. Had been paid $800 for each every one, crime. Each one, yes, for each crime. And who had paid the $800?
The money usually comes from outside, from some uh, circles, Salafi and Wahhabi circles outside of Syria. And Syria actually uh, needs uh, support, needs cooperation, genuine support, genuine cooperation in order to implement this uh, plan. Uh, the Syrian people do not need $12 million from Mr. Obama to buy uh, some communication stuff and, and uh, uh, anti-ballots, uh, 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 gilets. The Syrian people need to lift these uh, sanctions uh, on, 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 on Syria, imposed on Syria, Syria illegally, unilaterally, uh, uh, and because these sanctions are the real problem, real problem, they are costing Syria billion of dollars. And the funny part of the story is that the European Union imposed sanctions on the Minister of Electricity in Syria, because he is doing his job very well. This is why they are imposing on him uh, their sanctions. This is ridiculous. Thank you.